With more than 4.5 billion active internet users around the world in 2020, data privacy is becoming an ever greater business concern. We are constantly determining how we look after it, how we protect it, how we control it. Data is a, a very major part of daily life now for uh, every business. Technologies like AI and 5G are driving a modern-day data explosion, and this poses new challenges. There's much more data. It's moving in many more places. It's been handled by more applications, and therefore the probability that something can go wrong has increased. As the quest to keep data safe continues to move up the list of priorities, how can we ensure a universally agreed set of principles that protects both the consumers who own it and the companies that handle it. As we complete various actions online, we share a range of personal data. We leave a data trail in almost everything we do, but we need to share some of that data in order actually to complete various different agreements or contracts. So when I email you, you're going to need to know who's emailing you and you're going to need to know also my email address so you can reply. The mechanism that underpins this personal data sharing is trust. If you're going to make a hotel reservation, if you're going to make a flight booking, if you're going to share any sort of personal information with an organisation, you're going to want to be able to trust that they're going to look after that data and not let it be stolen or used in a purpose for which it was never intended. Building and maintaining trust has always been a key strategic consideration for companies. But protecting consumer data isn't just good business practice, it's a legal obligation. In every country you must meet the legal obligations, but that is a baseline. To develop trust and confidence and reputation, then you typically have to operate beyond that baseline. But here's the issue. Laws are different everywhere in the world. Every country uh, has different legislation. On top of that, there's also different attitudes towards the importance of personal data versus other priorities. There are different understandings of the importance, different legislation in different regions, and the ability then to seamlessly trade across borders is significantly compromised. As a result, data adequacy has become a commercial requirement. Data adequacy is almost like a, an assessment of another country's ability to manage data and the importance upon which they place on that. It becomes a trading tool uh, just as much as product specifications and safety specifications etc. have done in the past. So why doesn't a single legal standard exist internationally to govern it all? It's very, very difficult to get a global agreement. If every country agreed on the importance of data, how to process it, how to control it, the ability to delete it, on paper it is possible, but therein lies the problem is, is securing that agreement. And as data is distributed globally, this becomes problematic for companies trying to handle it. It gets far more complex when you're dealing with data that is held for a person who, let's say, resides in Europe, but his data is then stored in a data store in Europe and then later transferred to another uh, data store, say, in America. Where do the rules apply and at what point do we contribute in the different laws that apply in the different jurisdictions? The stakes are high not just for the consumers who own the data, but for those entrusted to look after it too. If companies underestimate the responsibility that they have in holding on to and protecting it, then they're doing that at enormous risk. There are many companies we are going to see go out of business simply on the basis of their inability to protect the data that they were trusted with. Companies may have an important role to play, but there's only so much they can do. Huawei is investing in the frameworks for privacy, it's investing in the skills, uh, we're putting in the, the applications needed to support the, the staff who are working on privacy, and we are training everyone in the business on the importance of it. But an individual company, nor for that matter an individual country, cannot change the, uh, the global operation. So you got to look at some very uh, significant global event or global cooperation to, to really bring about the change that would be needed. 
In our increasingly tech-enabled, globally connected society, data looks set to play an ever more significant role. But policies that protect it are already outdated. Only by working collaboratively across different industries and countries can we keep our data and our digital way of life safe.